Hey Maddie, here's one of my pack rigs. That's the britchin, of course. The spider sits up on top of the rump. This is the back end of the saddle. This is the front of the saddle, breast collar. All right, here's the way I tie my mules together. You see this, this nylon rope is run through here. You could, you could go in front as well. But it's run under the under the, the back uh, saw buck and then down to this ring and tied with a bowline at the ring. It comes up here to a Y and then off on the same same thing on the other side. It's tied to the front century. That way when the mule that's being led pulls back, it's not pulling on the saddle per se, as much as it's pulling on the cinch. And by the way, the cinch is also tied to the breast collar. So the weight is distributed on the front cinch and the breast collar. Now something else that's very important is that you use, and this is the, the, the bigger, heavier type hay string. The, the ones that come on the on the little square bells aren't strong enough. You need to get the, the string off of off of a, like a, a big uh, big alpha alpha bell or it, the larger like the four by eight square bells have this type of string on it. And some of your smaller square bells are bound together with this uh, bigger string. But you need to tie them actually tie the second mule on here where my hand is rather than to this loop you want that breakaway you want you want the option of that mule being able if he if he sets back if if one of them goes over the cliff you don't want them all to go you want them to be able to to break free so you don't lose them all and and it and it's good for for other issues as well but you want to tie them in with the breakaway i hope that answers your question just take a little bit of extra rope run it under this back saw buck you could run it right around here right around here and then down and tie it on to the to the front centering i'll do the same thing on both sides and that ought to get you get you where you need to be if not give me a call i'll help you out